Three. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, aka The Voice. Right, today we're joined by Mickey Theo from Essex. How are you doing, Mick? Are you all right? I'm good. I'm good, mate. Yeah. And you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, uh... How's the I'm weather just... up there? The weather up here is... Any snow? No snow. It's a bit warm, Mick. It's a bit warm okay. at the moment. It's usually snowing up here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what I wanted to ask you, did you see John Fury's first video in ages yesterday? Oh, with the aqua. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know, unbelievable, isn't it? What did you think to it, mate? Well, I think, well, if he does so much, it makes you feel so well and so full of yourself, come out and fight, you know, what's your problem, eh? You need to be drinking loads of that, mate, to come out and see me, you yeah. know? Yeah. Or drink gallons of it, or fucking litres of it, mate. <laughs> you pussy. Do you think that John... Do you think that John now has stopped calling people out and he, he's gone into uh, nice man mode and he just don't well, want it anymore? Well, it's, you know what? It's like, like, you know, I've got one thing to say. You're like, I think I've fucking blown his hide, haven't I? You know, his mouthy hide uh, that he hid behind. Um, you know, he's calling out all these people for many years. And I think people were scared as well, you know what I mean? And poor old David A, I love him to bits. I, I really do like David A. You can see when he, David's in his company, he's like scared to say anything, you know? David, stand up for your, yourself, mate. He's a nobody. Take it from me. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pussy. But no bollocks, mate. You ain't hardcore like us. Yeah. Uh... What do you think it's going to take for John to say, I don't want to fight you, Mick, or let's get at it? What do you think it's going to take, Mick? Oh, you know what we got planned for, for him, so we'll see what happens. We, yeah. we, we can't let the element of surprise out, can we? <laughs> eh? No, 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 no. He started it, didn't he? Yeah. So, you know, I mean, let's, let's enjoy it. Let's, let's enjoy the journey. How's the training coming on, Mick, down there in Essex? Oh, terrible. Training's terrible. Everything's terrible with me. <laughs> <laughs> You've been this morning? I'm not, you know what, Russ? I'm not training anymore. I'll give it in, mate. Honestly, I'll pack it. I'm knocking on the head. What do I train for? Some bum that don't want to come out and fight me, eh? Yeah. What's the point pack, of me training? Pack training in, Mick. You might come out and say, yeah. No, listen, even if I'm not training, I'll still do him. You know what I mean? It's not a problem. So, you know what I mean? Well, I'm going to fucking train for him. I train for myself. I'm going to train. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about all these people, Mick, on internet who are just putting videos out and making nonsense up for the sake of it? Listen, you're always going to get that. Isn't it? It's called social media, but that's why I've never done it, Russ. Honestly, yeah. I'm never. I'm, I'm only doing it because of this fight. Well, this hopefully fight or non-fight, whatever you know. Yeah. Um, but I don't do. I don't. I've never done it, and I, and, and honestly, I'm not really one for it um it's just not me honestly yeah. honestly it's not me on the on the internet um taking pictures doing this doing that but a friend of mine said listen you want this fight on you need to get on there you know it's the way forward so i want it i want it and i want to get it going and that's that's why i'm on it you know yeah listen what honestly once this fight is over mate i'm closing all everything down not interested but i'll speak to you because you're a proper man yeah. Uh, you say it how it is. Well, we've got to do, haven't we? We can't have any uh, stragglers. Uh, well, my, my dad used to use a saying, and when I, when I was a young kid, I was a bit naughty, and he, he used to say, do you know what? You're a lame duck, he used to say to me. And it always used to stick with me. You know, if he said to me... Lame please, duck? Yeah, it's a, it's a northern saying, what miners used to say, Russell, I want you to go in that garden and clean every leaf up. I said, that's going to take hours. So I want you to sweep them all up and put them in uh, that bin that's for or dust, you know, garden waste. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I do half a job and he said, you know what, you're a lame duck. And that's I, what I call John, a lame chicken. <laughs> a lame chicken. That's what he is, you know. He, he says he's, he's, he's an X-rated um, uh, fighting cock or whatever, you know. He's a chicken, mate. He's, he's a lame cock. That's what I call him, you know what I mean? That's yeah. what he is. He said, Rich, he's fucking warm and feels good, you know. Yeah. But I understand the, the word lame, yeah, because that's what he is. Yeah. He's got no get up and go. Yeah, yeah. 
It's it's a shame that uh, this virus is here because I personally think that he would have took you up on your offer if we didn't have this virus. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. So wow. let let's hope it goes with virus soon, uh, Mick. What do you think? Yeah. Listen, all he's got to say is get up and say yes, isn't it? You know. Like I say, he wanted it wanted it in an auditorium, big, massive venue. He's the one that wants all the singing and dancing. Me, it's going to be tucked away last year on the 28th of May in a little fucking secret location and get you on just to fight as the refs and whoever needs to be there. And they said, no, John wants it. Well, this has come from um, um, his manager, Spencer. John yeah. wants it in a, a big auditorium, you know, because he wants all the crowd behind him. He wants, listen, he wants people behind him, you know what I mean? I don't need no one behind me. But anyway, it is what it is. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? It may not happen. It may happen. But it's on the bucket list for me. So um, I'm going to keep striving at it. And uh, it ain't going to be... I'm not shutting down. Yeah, you're, well, you're certainly not uh, shy to give your opinion, Mick, about a fight that you really want. And like I said, it's for NHS and mental health, raising money for charity. Yeah, and disabled children. Yeah, I disabled you know, children. As well. yeah. The same with children, let's give them a bash as well, you know. Let's help them, you know, things they can't get around in, you know, let's, let's motivate them to get some sort of uh, some sort of machinery for them to get on and play with or something, you know. Give them something. I think John's a charitable sort of guy. He likes to uh, exert himself into the conversation when there's any good deeds to be done. So I think that when the crowds are back this summer, I think John will come out and say, Turn up! <laughs> oh, come on in. Let's get it on. I'm the best fighting man over 50 in the UK. Turn up. He said that many times, is he? he said, you know, you got my number, get in contact with me, get in contact with my manager, blah, 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 blah. All that. Well, listen, to spice it up, why don't me and Spencer Brown, his manager, get at it, me and him? Yeah, you did mention that would be good, you know what I mean? Um, Spencer, turn get at it. <laughs> Chief support, what do you reckon, mate? You think me and Spencer could get at it? I'll come down Essex and train with you, Mick, and uh, we'll, we'll both turn up and uh, I'll do chief support. You can do headline act with John and uh, we'll do it for charity, eh? What do you say, Mick? Oh, definitely. So it's all good, isn't it? Other, so than, good. other than that, Mick, uh, what, what motor are you driving about in now? You still got your Bentley? Yeah, there's a few out there at the moment, uh, Bentley's. Um, so, yeah. Um, Are you any for sale, uh, mate? Any for sale? Yeah, they're, both, they're all for sale. Um, everything's for sale, you know. But, um, you know, it's, it's at the right time, you know. Yeah. Price is right. You know, people, you know, got to, you get loads of inquiries. I had loads of clicks on them, you know what I mean? So, yeah. few, few few messes, a lot of that in the game. But listen, they go eventually. What do you think, Mick, about Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo apparently being a done deal for May? Um, well, it, ha it, it had to happen, didn't it? You know, so when is another question. So, listen, it's happening for Billy and good luck to him. You know, I think he wants to fight. Um, it's a good money fight as well for him, you know. So, he's, he, he, let's see, and, and anyone up there in that league would want to fight. Um and hope to get the fight because it's a listen at the end of the day, they're pros, it's money, and it's a money game. So, yeah, he ain't, he ain't just fighting Canelo, he's fighting the money. That's what they're doing. You know, it's like Paul Logan fighting, um, or, 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 or Lloyd Mayweather fighting Paul Logan now, not Paul, Paul Logan, Logan yeah, Paul. Paul, Logan Paul. There's brothers, isn't there? There's one called Logan Paul, one Paul Logan, isn't it? I think Jake Logan, Jake Logan, you know, getting these people no, Jake, stuff. sorry, sorry, sorry. Logan, Jake, Jake. Logan, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Sorry. Yeah. Um, it's like May Mayweather fighting him, you know. It's money. Why is he fighting the nobody, you know? Yeah. It's internet. He's got 40,000 followers or something. I don't know. So he's going to be want to fight him, isn't he? I, 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 maybe the figures are wrong, like I said. You know, he's got big, big numbers. So Mayweather's looking at, he's got big numbers. He's the one, you know. He's clever. Mayweather's clever. That's why he's called the money, the money man, you know what I mean? Yeah. He... Listen, he spends, he enjoys his life, but you know what? He's, he knows how to nick a few quid and make a few quid. So, hat off to Mayweather. You know, he's doing a great job. And listen, he doesn't need to fight anyone. He's quite secure. 
Um, but listen, it's nice to get another few quid coming through the door, isn't it? Yeah, we all like a few quid, don't we, mate? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the easy way, isn't it, at the moment? It's just a comfort zone to, you know, have what you want in life. But as long as you're healthy, that's the main thing, you know? Yeah, uh, what do you think about uh, Joe Fournier? Have you heard of him? No, I haven't. He's, he's uh, exerting himself into the mix to fight uh, Jake Paul or Logan Paul or one of the brothers. And he's been on, he's been on IFL. He's David A's mate. He's he's got nightclubs and that, and he's took boxing up. Uh, oh, he's just he's not even a boxer. He's not even a. He has no, no, he's, I think he's had about ten fights. I think he's had about okay. ten ten or twelve fights or something. Uh, he's David A's mate. You've got to ask your question. Why are these people want to fight him? It's it's for money. If they get a fight with his person with his Logan Paul, it's big money. You know. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, there was something popped up months ago when I seen him, you know, and I remember him fighting the English guy over here, you know, and I, 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 I texted him, I'll fight you any time, my friend, you know, you know, and not getting on the bandwagon like the rest of them, like people saying, you know, that someone's always got to criticise it, but he's he's not even a fighter. He just just got into a bit of boxing and he's had a couple of fights and that's it, you know, um, you know, I've been I've been doing it for twenty five years, so yeah. you know. They've got a big following, though, aren't they, Mick? And that makes a big difference, doesn't it? That's, the, that's where the money is. The money is the, the pay per view is the following the numbers. It's a numbers game, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. you know. But purely, John Fury, you know, he said he was the best 54 year old in the world. He was a nobody. He's not a fighter. He's not on there. He's not on the social media. He's nothing like I was, yeah. So I thought, hang about. No, you yeah. can't. I can. I'm fighting it for a reason because I believe I am fitter, stronger, and can take him, yeah. That's why my intentions are, you know, and it was for charity, you know? Yeah, Lovely Mick, thing to do. Mate, do you think that uh, in your 50s, you're stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet than you were in a four, in your 40s, Mick? No, obviously not. As, yeah. you, as you get older, you get, you're get you obviously going to get slower and reflections are going to be slower. Everything's, listen, you, you, you're on a downhill, you know? Um, let's face it. Although I feel great, um, Listen, I train every day of my life. Um, I eat healthy, you know, so I've always done that. Um, so it's me at the end of the day. Uh, if it was a normal person at, at my age, they'd be, they would, they'd probably just about be, being able to walk at the moment, you know what I mean? Full of yeah. um, whatever they're going to have uh, as they get older, you know, cholesterol, diabetes, you know, uh, everyone, everyone gets it when they get old, you know, and... That's what I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm clear of all that, you know, and I'm. I'm I feel great within myself. Hence, yeah. that's why I said, you know, I believe I can. I have the inner spirit to take this person, John Fury, out. You know what I mean, and deal with it. Um, and that's why I challenged him. You know, I didn't challenge him because he's got millions of fucking viewers, and I, I can make money out of it. You know, and I strictly said it was for the paper the NHS. Yeah. There, so I strictly said, John, if there's no money in this joint, fine. You know. And that's what he said. So there's loads of money in it for him. Yeah. Uh, for instance, sorry to put on, but no, when, when Mike Tyson took the charity event, how much did he make at that fight? It's a 30, charity event. 30 million. Exactly. So, you know, why didn't he do it for charity and not take any money? I think he did it to square his tax bill off, didn't he? He owed, he owed a bit to IRS, didn't he? But he still made money yeah. for himself. Yeah, but, but listen... Whatever charity, what whatever the event is, you know, boxers will always get money out of it. They ain't, they're not going to be doing it for nothing at the end of the day, and that is the truth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, how's Noel doing at uh, T? Is it Club TKO? Or Club something? KO. Club, Club KO, KO in Booker yeah, still. Well, listen, the gyms are shut at the moment, as you know. That's why I said you were not training. You know, we've stopped yeah. training and and just getting on with it. You know, but yeah, listen. The main thing at the moment is to keep everyone to be safe out there and, you know, mask up, you know, and use the um, the anti-liquid, special liquid you put in the, the uh, uh, whatever you call it, I forget, I forget the names of it now, sanitizer, yeah. sanitizers and alcohol, lime, whatever you use, use it, you know, because it's, it is naughty out there at the moment. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about being safe at the moment and, and keep yourself well. And um, that's basically it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's we're over 105,000 deaths, aren't we now? Listen, it's gone up. It, now they're talking something in from Brazil as well. You know, it's completely yeah. different. You know, and it hits different parts of the body and the limbs and this and that. Like God knows what's going on in the world at the moment. You know, but um, listen, we're in the world. We've got to deal with it and get over it um, and climb over it and then move on. I call it hurdles. It's another big hurdle in the world. You just got to jump over them. Mm. You know, get them out of the way. I'm trying to jump over John Fury. You know, he's a bit taller than me. I've got to jump over him and get him out of the way. Park him up. <laughs> I'm just looking at the statistics, some, some statistics. I've just had a, a former professional fighter sat in here with me for an hour having a cuppa. And uh, we, <laughs> he said that John Fury's got a longer reach than you, he's taller and heavier than you. So how are you going to negate that? I ain't got a fucking clue, Russ. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> uh, I'll be too busy taking my wraps off, will I, after knocking Spencer Brown? Probably, cold, yeah. Cold. Yeah, probably, probably. Ice, ice cold. Probably. But uh, I just wondered how you're gonna how you're gonna deal with it, that sort because you know longer reach and like it'd be like Chisora fighting Tyson, wouldn't it? A bit like weight difference and height and reach. Well, what what did Tyson do to all his opponents? He's the shortest, the smallest. He got in. He, he, he got in close, didn't he? Don't know. He just had to get in close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really mean close, Mick. I don't mean like that. I mean, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? But it's all good fun, and it? it's all a bit of fun. But listen, if you can have a it's fight, a, it's, raise it's some all money. In aid, it's all in aid of a good for a good cause. You know, yeah. that's the main thing. Listen, as long as the boxers come out healthy, yeah. that's the main thing. That's all that matters, isn't it? Really. Listen, if you're going to wear gloves, it ain't going to be too bad, is it? No, it ain't, man. It's so, so, listen, you know, like he's had loads of punch up, like he said, on the door. And if he wasn't knocking out five a, a, a night, you know, and all that bollocks, uh, so this shouldn't be a problem for him. He's just got to deal with one person, not five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and do you think do you, do you think if it hasn't happened, Mick, for say June, that'll be fourteen month from call out. If it hasn't happened for June, do you think that we can safely say that John don't want to fight you, and that he should come out and say, say make a statement? And no, listen, until he comes out and says that, I'm going to march on and carry on what I'm doing. You know, right? Um, God. He's got, listen, like we said, we got a little surprise from Manchester and we, so let's yeah, get that yeah. sorted out. Let's see what happens from there. Right. And that'll be, that'll be interesting, won't it? It sure will. It sure will. If I get out alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm like? I've got massive gonads. So we're going to see, aren't we? John Fury, how are you doing? Come see me. <laughs> Oh, well, know. come on the channel. Come on the channel. Let's have a chit chat. You think I'd have him on here? Fuck on him on here. Man, low at town, wouldn't it? But if you want to come on, John, you're more than welcome. I'm sure your little fan club in my comment section would love you to come on, John, because I've got some questions for you that you probably don't want to answer, John. But come on. Don't start scaring him away, Russ. <laughs> well, John's all right. He's a big soft teddy bear, really, if you get to know him. He's yeah. all right. He's all right, but you can't go around calling people out because every now and then somebody's going to say, Do you know what? Yeah, I will take you up on your challenge, John. I'm here. And you crawled off, honey. I'm here. So, yeah. So, all right then, Mick, just a quick catch up. I know you've got a one o'clock appointment. So, mm. okay. So, I just thought I'd just have a quick catch up with him. We'll give him something. So I'll put this out today. Let him have it today. Oh, right. They've had no a treat problem. today. They've had a treat today, then they? have had a treat. Oh, they've got a treat coming, haven't they? Yeah, well, I've got one coming, so... <laughs> Manchester, watch out, you've got a treat coming. <laughs> All right, then, Mick. Well, listen, you take care, Mick. Yeah, and thank you, and you take care yourself and everyone out there. Mask up. Keep Here we go. Touch. Keep in touch. All right, my friend. Mask up. It's good for you. <laughs> All right. Peace God bless out, you all. Man. Take care. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye. Well, that was, uh, I'm having to get used to doing, uh, I think this is the first 
one I've done on here, or is it second, first one I've done with somebody else? I'm having to get used to uh, the headphones because this old Malado here got me one with no speakers, and, but headphones. So, but apparently that's how you're supposed to do it. There's this thing here, whoever this is. Big microphone on a crane thing. Testicles, one, two, testing. But uh, look, nobody's having a go at John Fury. All you John Fury fanboys out there, or people who have met John and want to stick up for him on the comment section, look, nobody's having a go at him. We all know what happened, don't we, last April. John said he's fight any man over 50. Mick said, yes, please. And since then, it's it, it, it looked like it was going to happen, then it's sort of... He's gone silent. So all that Mick wants is John to come out and say, look, do you know what? I shot my mouth off. I called you out. We also called other people out, didn't he? Wilder, Bellew, David A, Dana White, Tony Bellew, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson. And Mickey Fio said, well, I'll, I'll take you upon challenge because all them can't. Mike Tyson's not even allowed in England and John's not allowed in America. The only place that they can fight, my lawyer tells me, is France. So, John Fury against Mike Tyson exhibition in France. Ain't going to happen, won't, won't happen, is never going to happen, right? So why call Mike Tyson out knowing that he can't come to the UK because he's a convicted sex offender? And John can't go over there because he's got a section 18 on his record. So he's not allowed in America, just like I'm not. So forget Mike Tyson. The others have shown no interest whatsoever, but Mickey Theo's shown interest. And people need to have a look at my inbox, people saying, yeah, it's a good fight, that Russ, it should happen. So, John, get in touch, come out and say something, because if it were anybody else, you would. If you're not going to say something, John, right, and you want me to shut this down, here's a message from me. Don't ever call me a blowjob again around Denny Sobson and your brother Peter Fury. Apologise to me on the telephone and I'll shut this down We Mick. If you don't, he's welcome on my channel anytime, John. But think before you start calling people blowjobs, all right? Because I can call you a lot worse, John. And if I set about you on my channel, John, and really tell the John Fury story, you'll have to call away forever, won't you? So apologise to me, John. And I'll stop Mick coming on channels. So Mick, just apologise. Let's move on. It's not going to happen. Apologise to me and apologise to Mick for messing him about and say, Mick, I don't want to fight you now. I don't want to fight any man over 50. You're just doing it for PR and to get yourself out there and everybody can move on. But there's an old saying, John, where I come from in Doncaster, silence is golden. All right. So, okay. So we'll leave it at that for now, but Mick will be on in another week and we'll see where we're at then. But, there's a little surprise for you, John. All right, come in next month. So if, you got, if you're not going to fight, Mick, we're going to have to shame you into it. You're going to have to be shamed into it. You're going to have to say you don't want to fight him. Apologise to me. Apologise to the travelling community for making out you're a fighting man. Then we can all move on. All right, till then. I don't know where we're at with it till then, but when crowds are back, we're going to see, aren't we, John? But you're probably going to have to fight, Mick. So that's where we're at. All right. Good luck, John. All the best. But thanks, for everybody, for tuning in. Uh, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Like and subscribe and share it amongst your pals on WhatsApp. And let's get this fight on. Let's get John to say, I'm sick of this. I'm going to fight this. Uh, this Is he a Cockney, mate? Is that a Cockney, I see? So I don't know, is it? Yeah, it is. It's South, isn't it? I'm going to fight this Cockney. And uh, I'm going to fill him in. And Mick thinks he's going to fill you in. So get, get at it. It's a fight. With gloves on. And it might even have to be with headgear on if we have to have it. So nobody's going to get hurt. So what's the problem, John? What have you got to lose? I personally don't think you're frightened of fighting Mickey Fio. What I think you're frightened of is not performing like you like your son performed against Wilder. You know, like a surgeon, a technician, an iceman. I think you can't back what you've shot off your mouth about, John. 
And I think you're flitting about that. And maybe a bit of body image, because Mick looks like an Adonis, doesn't he? And you don't. Maybe there's that. I don't know. But he did say that in the video, John. But just come out and say, look, I don't want to fight him. Russ, I'm sorry for calling you a blowjob around Dennis and, and my brother Peter. And Mick, I don't want to fight you now. It's a load of crap. I'm doing other things in my life. I'm a granddad. Just say that. And it'll go away. If not, okay, go and get your sense off. Peace out.